Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video of the land of Zender. So guys, I haven't been I haven't done a video episode of the land of Zender in a long time, so I have no idea what episode this is. I don't know what did last time that I explore 1.17 that I that I, I don't know what I did. I seriously have I've forgotten everything. So guys, we're back. Um I've been doing a few episodes over on my Java um on my Java edition series. Um yeah, last time I built an IFM in my Java edition series. So make sure you go and check that out after this video, of course. So guys, what do we have planned for today? So the plan for today is to build a bee farm. So we've got a bunch of bees. Um wait, wait, wait. where are the bees? Where are the bees? Um down here, down here. So we we have been wanting wanting to do a bee farm for quite a while now. Got a bunch of axolotls inside here. So where are all my bees? Yes, we've got two full shocker boxes of beehives. Put them down here. Well, this this isn't completely full. This is full. So this is twenty seven um, plus um, nine. Which makes, I'm not going to do the maths, um, 30, yeah, so we've got 40 beehives, which the plan is to make a building, put 20 beehives in one row of the building and 20 on the other side, which I think is a pretty good idea, um, so why do I want a bee farm, I don't know why, I just want to do it for whatever reason, you know, this, this series will come to an end pretty soon. Um, the plan was to end this series, end this season, around when 1.18 comes out, which will be this winter, I heard. Which, right now, we're in October right now, so yeah, I don't know when it's going to come out. Um, so yes, um, yes, I also have some other plans to do right over in this area over here. Um, and the plans for this area is to build a huge volcano. I don't know if I can pull this off. A uh, volcano, I think it's a bit above my expertise. I've never built a volcano. I wanted to build a volcano um, at my old creeper farm. But I built like a stone pyramid instead. But I do want to build a volcano over here. Like right in the gulf over here. But today we will be building a bee farm. Uh, where are we going to be building it? I haven't checked anything yet. I haven't prepared anything. The only thing I have is like beehives. So where are we going to be building? I think around here somewhere is quite fine. We can clear out some... Oh god. We can clear out some trees. There's a lot of trees around here because it's a... Oh my god, it's broken. What the heck? Fly. Uh, we can clear out some trees and we can build it right over here. Oh yes, another project which I have in mind is to build a portal, a big portal over here, right in between that ocean and this ocean, just right here in the middle. I'll take some trees away, I'll level out the ground here and I'll build a cool portal, because right now our portal's inside our base, it isn't that epic, and I want a really cool epic portal. So guys, let's go find a place to build this bee farm, and let's get started. <laughs> So guys, I think over here is the best spot to build a bee farm. Do we have any blocks like to mark the area? Let's grab my iron chest out. Oh, I love my iron chest. It's the best thing ever. And we'll take some. We'll take some cobblestone. No, we'll take some stone. Two stacks of stone. Bop, 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 bop. So guys, this is the place where I want to build this bee farm. I'll take. I'll take away some of the trees over here. Level out the ground if I have to. I don't know how I'm going to build it. I think uh, instead of building it with concrete, I could build it with nature blocks. You know, wood, trees, stone, all this stuff. Because looking with concrete, you don't really have a lot of options. Um, but if you work with, you know, these these nature blocks, you have a lot of options. You have all these different types of woods, um, of wood. All the different types of stone, you can also use grass, leaves, you have a lot of different types of leaves. All the variants of woods, you know, fences, buttons, stairs, slabs, all the different stuff. So, uh, working with um, the nature materials is a lot easier. And I think a lot more fun than us working with concrete. Because if working with concrete, oh yes, you sure. 
you've got some nice colors, you know. You have green, blue, black, pink, purple, what knows. But working, it's kind of laggy around here. What the heck? Yeah, this world is getting kind of laggy. That's why I want to start the next season quite soon because you have to just taking away these leaves are getting super... Why is... Why... Shouldn't be this laggy around here. Um, I don't know why I'm taking away these leaves. I should just be taking away the trunk here. What's it this? This tree? What the heck? <laughs> this tree is something else. I haven't seen these trees. This is an oak tree. You know, this isn't even a jungle tree. This is one of these oak trees which take an hour to take away. But this one is like a mega oak tree. <laughs> This is like two oak trees in one. Um, any wood around there? No. Yeah, these are two oak trees. You know, here's one trunk. And then over here is the other trunk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So now for the bee farm. Yes, I think I would just use natural materials. Haven't worked with natural materials in a long time. That's also the thing. Halfway through this world, while I was building my mega base, I just wanted to build something else. I wanted to work on something else. I didn't want to be working on the mega base a lot because it gets kind of boring. You just go, okay, what's the best concrete? Uh, white and grey concrete. It gets boring after a while so you want to build something else with different materials. But you can't because you're working on your base. I have to finish our base. Which our base is basically finished. I'm not basically finished, but almost finished. I have, to, I have to just work on the top part of it. Oh, there's a bird there. Is that my bird? Hmm, don't think so. So, yeah, yeah, all you do is work with the same materials over and over again. And if you're not a really good builder, it's kind of hard. So, let's go and sleep quickly. So, for example, if I'm like a really good builder and I can do some really cool stuff with concrete and add different stuff which works well with concrete, I can use concrete powder, wool, glass, light sources like sea lanterns and glowstone, are also very good. Wait, I'm, I'm working over here. But I am not the best of builders. So, yes, I'm just learning right now Minecraft. I've been playing for around a year and a half now think so i started in september september 2019 and we are right now in 2021 see I've, I've been playing for two years basically right so and i've been playing on this world for a long time this world started off as a realm with my friends and then our friends basically all left and i just stayed and said yeah I'll just play on my own, start a channel, and record my videos. So, um, yes. Got a bunch of wood from this too. Working in the jungle is kind of hard because you have to clear away all these trees. Ah, oh, of course I forgot a wood up there now. If we go all the way up there, I do have some scaffolding, so I'll just use the scaffolding. Why is it so laggy? I don't know why. Um, any other pieces of wood? Where's my hole? There's my hole. Give me my hole. Alright guys, so this thing... I don't know if it's going to be a big build. We've got 40 beehives. But I don't know if I'm going to stack 20 beehives on top of each other. Like I have 10 in a row and then 10 on top. Or just have 20 in a row and then 20 on the other side. If I do that, it'll be like at least... 25 blocks long the build which is quite big and I don't want this farm to be really super super big okay so let's do a challenge for myself I think I'm just gonna build this whole build without working on it in a creative test world I think I'll just go ahead grab what I have and just see if I can make a nice looking build like this if I can't well then I'll just go and the uh, in my test world and build one there. Put that away. So we're working over here. Hmm. I think the first order of work is to take is to grab some grass and fill this place out to make it all nice and level. But first let's take away all these trees. 
All right, guys, this is what we have so far. We've got a little bit of a path we're going. I'm just working on little ideas that I have inside my head. I'm looking at this because, like I said, I didn't want to go into a creative world and the copy of this this world and go and work on something. I, I, I wanted to do this live, basically. So, put a bit of a path right here. Of course, this won't stay like this. It'll be all nice and different, all natural. Nature, nature. I should put on a different skin for this. Anyway, so, um, yes, so we've got a bit of a pathway, we have a bit of a, um, whatever you call it, an arc, a leaf arc. Um, and then I thought, hmm, I could put a bit of, like, a pathway going to the bee farm, but it is actually water. And there's, like, lily pads and stuff inside the water, so you can walk over, I can put some nice flowers on the side. Make it all natural. So, yes. What do we want at the bottom of this river, creek thing? Um, first of all, I need to get myself some lily pads. And I'm not bothered in doing that. Do I have any somewhere? I should check on my base. Now, what do we have at the bottom of this little walkway here? The bottom of the water. Uh, let's not make it too far, since I don't think this thing is going to be a mile long. So, let's just do this. Let's get out over here. I was thinking cobblestone. Um, could we just dump the bottom of cobblestone? We're going to have some mossy cobblestone. Uh, we could have some buttons too, slabs, staircases, blah, 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 blah. Um, so let's think. How do we do this? How do we do this? Let's cover this up first. Um, a cow. What the heck are you doing here, cow? <coughs> I haven't seen any animals around here for a long time. I've seen some birds, a few pandas, but not really any, um, you know, those animals. Like sheep, cows, and pigs, and stuff like that. So, you're going to have a little of a river. Pathway made of water, basically, where it is. I'm Jesus, I'm walking in water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. So, what do we have? If we put down some cobblestone, because if you look at bottom of creeks, you'll see rocks and stuff. And I think cobblestone, what well, looks like the rocks, looks like rocks, old raggedy rocks. Um. What we could add to this is some mossy cobblestone. So, do we have any vines? We've got some vines, not a lot. I think I've got some back in my base. If not, we can just do this. We can just go boop, 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 get some vines. Perfect, perfect, perfect. How many do we have? Let's grab these. We do want some more to grow. So I'm not going to be taking them all the way, just a little bit. So we've got 26 right now. Yeah, so we'll make some mossy cobblestone just like that. And we can integ integrate the mossy cobblestone inside the cobblestone over here. You know, just open up a bunch of patches and then just place in the mossy cobblestone like this to give it a bit of a bit of variation. We can still got 17 more. I can use that for something else later on. Okay, add one over here, one over here, one over there start here we can add a few because if you live in the jungle and you have some water and you have some rocks inside the water well of course the wall some moss is going to be growing on the water um at the side here i don't want a sudden grass block ledge so i want to add i don't know some stairs i don't know they should be cobblestone stairs i could make them jungle wood People say they don't really like jungle wood. I would disagree. I think I, I do like jungle wood quite. Well, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I do like jungle wood. Um, but you would have to use it for the right situ um, situations. You have to use it for the right project. So, got some jungle wood. Um, let's make some jungle planks. Do we have we Have we got a workbench down yet? Uh, we'll place one over here. We'll make some stairs, see how they look. We'll make 24 stairs, and we'll put them along the side here. 
The problem is the problem is with jungle wood. They look very not too appetizing, actually. You put them in the right. Oh, we had exactly enough. <laughs> um, you have to use them in the right places with the right blocks, right? So we've got a kind of okay looking pathway over here. Um, we're going to be adding water inside the middle of this, right? We're going to add a bunch of lily pads. Um, what else could we add? Oh, some leaves inside the water. Some pebbles. Basically stone buttons. Where's my bow? Lost my bow. Anyway, so we can grab some stone here quickly. Um, buttons, yes, we can add some buttons. It's a shame you can't do mossy buttons, so we'll add a few buttons over here. We'll have to waterlog these. That, um, let's make a water source quickly. Open up some stuff over here. Because I've got everything that I want in my shulker box, so if I want another water bucket, I can just go here and get one. Oh, that's the wrong thing. This is why it's very important to have a nice shulker box um, in a chest, I mean. I am very proud of my chest. I think it's the best thing, best thing ever, actually. You know, I love it. Um, so, okay, we'll grab some water. Um, actually, I'm going to grab two buckets instead of just one. Um, yeah, let's grab two. So, if you're going to fill this thing with water, we make sure... Could we got to shit click that. Water sources over here, and this is that placing places. Over there, we'll place some. We'll place one over here. Grab some more water. Place some over there. Place some over here. Grab some from there. Over here. All right. So there's the water. Looking very, very nice. I will be, I will be placing some inside the stairs here. Like this. I could some I could add different types of wood to these stairs, you know. Oak wood would I think would look okay. Dark oak, I don't know. Spruce, don't think so. Acacia, definitely not. Um I think acacia wood is kind of no, I'm talking about birch. Yeah, birch. Birch wood is kind of uh bit too white for everyone's liking. I don't like birch wood that much. I think my 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 opinion of the best wood is spruce wood. Um, spruce, you're able to use it for basically every every single thing you want to do with wood. Spruce is the best, you know. It's not super bright, super light. It's kind of got a dark texture to it, but it's not as dark as dark oak. It's kind of just perfect. So right here I used um, the jungle wood because we're in the jungle and I think it looks best. So now I want to add some lily pads. I'll do that later because right now I haven't got any on me. Um, but now we've got something going on. Now over here, this dirt isn't really looking that, that nice. So I could add some more cobblestone there. I think I will just do that. Just like that. Um, okay, okay. It's looking quite nice. We can put that grass block back. Um, of course, I will need to clear out some more space for the bee farm. Plan was to put the bee farm right over here. But since I'm building all these rivers and stuff, <laughs> I can't really put it bee farm right here. So we'll have it over here somewhere. So do have to take out some more trees and take out... The ground here, do a bit of terraforming. Oh, that can also lot. Alright, what's next? I'll go and do some brainstorming and see what I can come up with next. So guys, this is what we have going on right now. I've put in a bunch of lily pads inside the water. I've put a few more archers in. I've put in two more archers in. Um, I've put some vines on the leaves over here to give it a bit more texture. Right now, I'm trying to put lanterns somewhere. I've been thinking lanterns will look quite nice. They, I can't place them on the leaves, which is super annoying. So I thought I could put them on the ground in front of the arches here. But then I can't place them on stairs either. Oh, 
Seriously, man. Minecraft, please let me do this stuff. Ooh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, oh, oh. Damn. And that doesn't look half bad. That looks actually really sweet, bruh. Um, you could put this one. Ooh. That looks really nice with the lanterns under the water because they're blue. The water's blue. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Um, yeah, I also put in some kelp and some seagrass inside to give things a bit more life. But I, I'm liking, I'm liking the. The lanterns over here. Do I have any soul lanterns anywhere? Do I have any more? Uh, I can make some. Um, boop, 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 buddy, papa. Anyway, so how do I make them? How do I make them? It doesn't give me the option. Huh? Don't you just. Yeah. Well, I kind of see an option here on my screen. I'm just blind. Where was I? I think I was in this one. Over uh, whatever. Who cares? Let's just make a bunch of them. Oh, how many did I make? See, now the option's gone. Now I can't make them anymore. Here I can, but here I... Now it's back. Get lost, man. This game's pissing me off. Okay, so we've got six. Um, I don't think any more would be a bit overcrowded. We could add, like, one more over there. So this is looking quite nice already. This will give it a bit of lighting. Yeah, because I did forget about that. Having a bit of lighting would work quite well. Let's actually go and turn it into nighttime. Time. Night. Yeah. This actually looks very nice. You're walking along here at night. There's a scary cow over there. Boom. And you're walking along here. Do -do -do -do. Ah, I'm dying. Anyway, so let's go and get some more lily pads. Oh, I hate this, man. I have to go all the way and find a swamp. I, I, I do know where swamps are, but... They're super hard to... Um, farm. I don't know if you, if you can even farm these. I think if you do an AFK fish farm, it's going to sleep again. I think if you do an AF, AFK fish farm, you could farm um, them, but yeah, get out of my water, man. Ooh! Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> the creepers, man. Creepers. Oh, my God. They're so scary. Oh my god, I haven't been that scared from creepers. Oh, creepers are just terrifying. Even in a late game right now, where nothing scares me because I've like got everything that I ever want. Got all the armor. I've had all this armor for like a year now. <laughs> they still scare me because they won't kill me, but the creepers will blow up and they would blow up all your hard work. And then you have to go and rebuild the stuff all again, and it's such a pain in the ass. So let's go and get some lily pads. A lily, that's a hard word for me to say. A lily, a lily. Ooh, are, the, are these like able, are you able to put these? Oh, come on, stop breaking them with your hand. What are they? Burn. I don't think I've ever used this plant in Minecraft ever. Okay, so you can't place it underwater. Useless, useless. Let's go and get a bunch of lily pads and and let's put them in the water. This, the recording has started. Hello, everybody. So, guys, we have got all of the lily pads in right now. Oh, God. Oh, I have to take that away soon. Anyway, so we have all the lily pads. Oh, God. I'm stuck. Help me. In the water now. I've got a bird, too. Hey, how's it going? 
Anyway guys, so we got all of the lily pads inside, went to the swamp, got some, and here we are. So now the next plan is to actually build the bee farm itself, which I haven't really... Ooh, another bird. Ooh, I'm gonna give myself a collection of birds over here. Where are my seeds? Seeds over here. How's it going, my beautiful... Oh, Nice, I've got two birds. This is what I'm talking about. Woohoo, baby, so we're talking about... Anyway guys. So, um, yes, we actually have to build the bee farm now. Don't really know how to do this. I think the plan is just to, you know, check up a tutorial on how to build a bee farm. I could try and actually build a farm by myself, you know, design it by myself. But that seems like a lot of work. I could do that, but I don't really know the mechanics. Of course, I've been playing Minecraft for a while now, so I should really know how to do this. I could go into my creative test world and figure out how to build an actual bee farm. Yeah, so I think let's actually go ahead and do this. Um, hopefully this episode won't be too long. Let's see. Okay, over here is the test world. Hopefully this episode won't be too long. I already e edited the first part of the episode. It's like 20 minutes long already. And my videos normally is... Oh, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm super fast. My videos normally is average, you know, 20 to half an hour long. Yeah, so what do I want to do? I want to build a bee farm. I think I was doing some tests with bees one time. There's a bunch of different stuff I've been doing. Uh, portal designs and stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bee farms. This was like the first design from my sheep farm. Didn't really build this design. This was also a design for the sheep farm. Didn't really do that. I was doing some tests with golems and wither skeletons, I think it was. What is this? No idea. T uh, that was a design for my creeper farm. Which I didn't even build. Yeah, a bunch of cool stuff inside here. Yeah. yeah, I think over here I was doing some tests. Let's see. So we'll grab some of this. We'll grab some flowers. Um, what I want now? I want some dispensers. We'll take this. We'll take some redstone dust. We'll take a dispenser. Um, what is this? What is this? Not a dispenser. We don't want that. I want a dropper. Or do I don't know? Do a piston. Uh, we need an observer. Um, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. So let's grab some glass so we can encase the bee thing. Yeah, we'll grab some. We'll grab some glass. Let's build a thing over here now. The plan is just to get the mechanics down to see how it works. You know, and then we can go into the real world and build that just in a smaller form. So let's encase this with glass so no bees escape. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I'm gonna turn the music off actually. Mm -hmm -hmm. Music over here. Uh, normally, as I do have the music on if I'm playing by myself. But since I'm making a video right now, I'm going to keep the music off. Might put some music afterwards. Alright, so here we have a thing. What's this? It's a 2x3. Am I stupid? Why did I build a 2x3? Ah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just... Let's just encase this in glass. Oh, kind of a messy, <laughs> messy build, but who cares? Is that all we Yes, all right. So we'll put down um, a beehive right here. I don't know if those of these have got bees inside them. We'll put down a flower over here. We'll put down a bunch of flowers. Let's get out of here. Hopefully there's some bees inside here. If not, we'll just do the simple trick of going boop, 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 boop. Oh, oh, close it up. Good. So we've got bees inside there now. Um, is this an empty beehive? Has it got honey in it? No, it's got no honey in it. Okay. Uh, what we need is a comparator. Mm, comparator. 
No, here you'll learn some... What? How the heck did he escape? You know, this is why it's very hard to work with Red Zone in Battle Edition because bees do all kinds of... Or anything do all kinds of weird stuff. And like, he came out the back of it, or he... Is there a, is, there's a hole here, what the heck? If he comes out the back one more time, I swear to God. What if I, I literally can't place this comparator how I want. Oh. No, there you go. No, there's a hole there. Or do you want an observer? I don't know. I don't know what you want. I mean, let's get some solid blocks, actually. Let's see. What's my solid block of choice? I normally use the stone bricks. So, place some solid blocks over here. Now, the trick is we have to find out. When the beehive gets full of honey, it's going to send out a signal, right? Right? But I don't know how I'm going to do this. I won't... Hmm. We could just have a very primitive farm. Just placed on a bunch of beehives, a bunch of flowers, and like a minecart, a hopper minecart underneath the ground. So when the beehive gets sheared or gets collected, um, the honey bottle or the honeycomb board is fall on the floor, and the hopper minecart will pick it up. Right, so these bees are kind of slow. I think we should dump in just a few more. Come on, get to work, people. Get to work. Oh, piss off. Yeah, okay. Now, guys, get to work. Make some honey. Hurry up, hurry up. All right, guys. we got some honey in the machine now. We've got some honey machine, so let's see um, how much redstone output this puts out. We've got some redstone lamps over here to see. It puts out a redstone signal of... Holy crap. So it puts, puts out a redstone, redstone signal of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which is kind of weird, actually. I don't know, I don't know how I'm supposed to work with this. Hmm... Because, uh, I need to think, put my redstone thinking brains out. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. Uh, so the thing is, when this reaches a power level of five, we have to have a dispenser to just to shear the, what do you call it, the, the, the beehive. But I don't have a big, huge redstone line, so we have to compact this whole redstone line down to like one thing which i don't know how we're gonna do that hmm. oh this is complicated i am freaking out here actually really really complicated it's a complicated redstone guys Oh, I really have to think of what, I, what I'm going to be doing. How are they escaping? Ah, uh, this, this was the one from before. Yeah. Okay, we really have to think here because I don't know how to compact all of this down just to, I don't know, one small little block. How do we do that? Uh. Ooh, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Seriously. I think you have to learn about comparators before anybody does anything. Alright, so you put there some line, of course. And it goes all the way to five. One, two, three. Oh, five, and it stops on the six. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it puts out a redstone signal of five. Right. Um. Okay, I've got another another plan on my sleeve. We'll put in exactly five items inside here. 
I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, uh, oh, this is this is complicated. Let's comp. This is uh, this is awful. We're gonna put that on chest, people, and see if this does anything. Let's see. Let's get rid of the flowers. All right. So we'll put down a chest over here, and we want this to also put out a redstone signal of five. So we'll put the chest um, over here. Compare it. That's not comparator. This is a comparator. Why'd it go off? And we are just gonna dump in items inside there until it fills up um, power signal 5. Alright, so let's see. Let's, we'll grab some stacks of stuff. What should we grab? It's kind of a bunch of sticks, right? So we'll put them in. All right. That is four. Yeah, it's four. So let's put in another stack. That makes five, all right. What we're gonna do is put in another stack and I'll make a power level of not six. So we'll put in another stack. That makes a power level of six. Now the trick is we want to compare these two things. How are we gonna do that? Don't ask me. We're gonna pick up all the sticks again. We're gonna put the chest right over here. Don't fly out. Oh, they're not gonna fly out. Like I'm, I'm stupid. Or something. Anyway, I don't, I don't really care. They're gonna be annoying though. So we'll put. These all went off. Why did it go off? I don't know why they went off. Uh, do you put that on. Do you put that on. I think what's happening is that this one is blocking this. Does that have to be the other way around? I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, I could work with the things that I have here. I could work with this system over here by just doing a little tower like this into the ground very unprofessional but you gotta do what you gotta do you know so we're gonna have a redstone level line of five one two three four five right and then we could have just an observer over here Observing that. We're at somewhere around. Um. Why isn't it placing? But then we got this right away. Why is that glass gone? So it's very unprofessional what I'm doing right now. Super unprofessional, super primitive 
you know, I'm just working with what I've got right now. We don't want, so when it gets powered, it's going to go bop, 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 all the way to the redstone thing over here. Let's see, where does the power stop? Does it stop in here? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This one isn't powered. I would just add a goddamn re repeater over here, right? We'll just add that. And then we could add some shears to this. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, it gets sheared, right? <clears throat> so we'll try this again. I don't know why the bees are all freaking out. Make honey, guys. Make honey. I'm going to close this all up. <laughs> okay, so we'll close. Ah, zombies actually went back inside. Hopefully there's no... <sighs> Oops. Hopefully there's no holes anywhere. I don't, I don't think so. So hold right here. Alright, so we'll put a bunch of bees inside here. <clears throat> Why is this on fire? It's just still act I've made a I've made a redstone clock. Anyway guys, screw this. I'm just gonna look up a video. I'm not too good at redstone. So I'm just gonna look up a video on how to do this stupid thing. And <laughs> build it. Um, of someone's design, of someone else's design, because, yeah, my design is not working. I can't really figure it out. I really have to learn redstone again. Again. Have to learn redstone in the first place <laughs> to do this stuff. I'm sure it's not that hard. I'm sure it's just... I think it's just the bed the bedrock edition redstone is just really complicated and weird, and you can't... Cause the plan was I had to, like, compact five a power level five a power level five redstone line into just like a few blocks so when when the beehive is full it will send out a signal to a dispenser which will dispense the beehive and oh another another parrot and then i will get some honey some honeycomb or bottle of honey but, yeah, um, I, I couldn't do that. So, I'm going to look up a video. I'll see you guys in a minute. Ooh. Ah, yes, first try. Good one. All right, guys, I'll, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we are back in Minecraft. Oh, God, that glass is doing my nothing. Anyway, guys, so we I got stuff. I built the farm, basically. It's not completely finished as yet. I didn't want to, you know, film myself building it because this episode will be long enough. So I just put in basically all the all the basically things, and it's quite big. I didn't think it was going to be this big. And it's a lot smaller too. I wanted to have it 40 blocks long, or at least 20 blocks long. You know, have 40 beehives in this thing, but... I just ended up with having 14 beehives, you know, seven over here. I think it's seven. It might be eight. I don't know. It's called one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's eight on each side, which is 16. So I've got 16 beehives, and I don't really need a mega bee farm just to get me a few honey bottles and some honeycomb. So that's what I did. So how it works is you put minecart here, minecart hopper over here. Do I have a minecart hopper? You put a minecart hopper over here, and it goes back and forth. Inside the dispensers, I'll put <coughs> shears or honey bottles, or empty bottles. When the <coughs> um, the beehive gets full enough, it'll send a signal all the way around like this to the 
Is that a comparator or a repeater? No, it will. Well, let's try and get up there, actually. I can't really show you guys without being up there. Let's go into the vines here. So what happens is beehives will be right behind this block on this block over here. Um, the comparator over here <clears throat> will detect or send out a signal of how full the beehive is. And, we, and when it's completely full, I will send a signal all the way up here, all the way to the dispense over here and dispense <clears throat> and shear the beehive. And then the honeycomb will fall on, onto the grass. Or will it? And I think the honeycomb will fall onto the... I'm confused now. Does it go on the grass? Yes, I think it will go on the grass and then the minecart, hopper minecart will pick it up and go to the chest over here. Ooh, my, my carrot. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to the, into, into the chest over here, into the hoppers, and the hoppers into the chest, and I can just come here and pick up all the stuff I want. So one side will be... Um... For... Honeycomb, and another side will be for honey bottles. Um, so yeah, so in the next episode, I will finish off this farm. I still have to build a building around it, so that's why I didn't want to drag out this episode for a long time, you know, build everything on camera. I just wanted to build thing, so the next episode, I can come here, finish it off, um, put some flowers on the grass here, and then build a nice building around it, which is the plan, because I can't just leave it like this. But I didn't think that the actual farm itself was going to be this big. I thought it was going to be smaller, but it goes out by a good chunk of blocks. One, two, three, four. I wanted to have it at least, you know, one, two, three wide. But no, it's seven wide instead of three. <clears throat> so, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Hopefully we can work with this. These parrots are so annoying. Stop making weird noises. Stop it. Anyway, so yeah, guys, this has been it. Oh, uh, another parrot. I've got so many parrots around here. How many do I have now? One, two, three. And if we can get this parrot over here. <coughs> do I have any seeds? Yes, I do have some seeds. Come here, my friend. These are my favorite parrot types. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got four. Are you my friend? Yeah, he's my friend, I believe. I think so, I don't know. Yeah, he's my friend. He's my friend. Anyway, guys, so this has been it for the video. Oh, God. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It wasn't really too interesting. I just built a farm, you know, a lot of stuff on camera. I want, I want to know if this is a good way to do a video. Just build a lot of stuff. On camera, you know, because what it what I do normally is just, I record the intro. Yes, I will be building blah blah blah, and then I go and I say, "All right, guys, now I'll go and get the materials." I get the materials, then I might do a time lapse, and then you know I explain what I did, and the video's over. But in this episode, I kind of you know built a little bit on camera. Worked through the process of how I build stuff, even though I didn't really build much except like a river and the farm. Anyway, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you want. I'll see you guys next time. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.